Noons here. Welcome back to Noons Airborne RC and welcome back to the channel. So today we have right here the F-22 for Blitzworks RC from Banana Hobby. Now Kerry sent this over here to the channel not as a promotional item more as some tech hints to go ahead and set up the gyro. So let's go ahead and look into this gyro before we dive in and set it in the plane. Now with all that said, this is the V2, so this does come with the gyro, so it's gonna go ahead and help with the bumpy winds. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box and let's see what we get for our money. So this is the gyro. We're gonna start off on the left side. You see those two pots? That's where you're gonna go ahead and add or take away gyro stabilization on your surfaces. To the right, you'll see a bank of switches. Switch one is how you have your transmitter set up. The switch in the up position is if you're using normal airplane mode and down is if you're using delta wing mode. For this demonstration, we're gonna leave it in the up position for normal airplane mode. Switch two is for switch up is for a novice and switch uh, two down is basically for like the master mode, what they call it. And switch three and four there on the end is if your gyro is moving in the wrong direction, those are your reversals for it. So let's move on. Okay, so now that you've got a familiar layout with the gyro, some little uh, other little hints with this gyro right here, and I'll put the picture up here. You'll notice that it wants the gyro with the pots face up, and we're gonna be going ahead and laying it long ways like this. That's what that switch one we were talking about with the uh, simple airplane mode. We'll just keep it airplane, no mixing. We'll let the board do the mixing for us. If you ever was gonna use this in another plane and you wanted to do the delta wing mixing, you're gonna to have to turn it 90 degrees. But we're not gonna do that in this model because we just don't have the room for it to go 90 degrees. Now that we got that covered, we're gonna go into the wiring of this. So before we start off, we're keeping all the switches in the default position, all in the up position. We're gonna leave it in the airplane mode we're going to leave it in the novice mode and we're going to leave S3 and S4 in the top position. And we're going to hook up the gyro using the micro zone uh, transmitter and RX that comes in the ready to fly model. This is an FHSS. You might be using a spectrum receiver. You might be using something else. So I'm not going to say channel one or channel two. I'm going to say aileron channel and elevator channel. So let's get to this. Okay, the first thing we want to do is we want to find out which one of these servo leads controls this side. So if you're looking at the airplane, it will be the left side. And to determine that, I'm just going to go ahead and use the servo tester. You'll see the blue tape. You know I already did this before. So we'll hook up our battery. And there we go. So once we determine which servo lead controls the left side of the aircraft that when you're looking at it, I want you to put a piece of blue tape around that so we know what that is. Next, I want you to grab the gyro and remember the gyro with the switches and the pots facing up, okay? On the right side, I want you to put a piece of blue tape. On to the next step. Next, we wanna grab our gyro and we have our blue lead on the right side. I want you to take the blue servo lead and I want you to connect it on the same side with the signal wire pointed out. Just like that. Now I want you to take this input lead that you have the blue tape and I want you to connect that into your aileron channel. Okay. Next, you guessed it, I want you to take the servo lead that does not have the blue tape and I want you to put it on the left side of the gyro. We're gonna go ahead and take this servo lead and we're gonna connect it into the elevator. Okay. And that's it. Now all I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna slide this gyro right here underneath the foam piece to get it out of the way, all the way to the front. And I'm going to take my receiver and I'm going to drop it in there as well. Okay. And this is how I have it installed hastily. 
Don't forget to use some double stick tape when you're mounting the gyro. And remember, the servo leads point to the aft of the aircraft, just like the manual states. All right, now we're going to power on the aircraft. Now remember, we're using the Microzone MC6C. So you have all these switches right here, and you says right here, Elevon. And if you're going to use your normal or if you're going to use mix now remember we're using a normal airplane mode so if you're using this micro zone don't forget your second switch from the left you're going to have it down not on mix if you're using another uh transmitter such as a spectrum or a futaba just use a normal airplane just like you normally would let the board do the mixing for you next we're going to turn on our transmitter and I'm just going to go ahead and use a battery to power up the system and not get the ESC involved. All right now the gyro is initialized I'm just going to go ahead and drop the battery in there. All right so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to make sure that our surfaces are working in the correct direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her right aileron and she's going the wrong way. So on the MC6C, I'm gonna go ahead and reverse the aileron channel right there. And now we got the right direction. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give her up elevator, down elevator, and we have our control surfaces already done next let's go ahead and test the gyro i'm going to go ahead and tip her nose and she's giving up elevator she's giving down elevator she's giving up elevator and now let's see it's going up it's going up and that's it everybody now for some case or some reason you do have a control surface the gyro is moving in a different direction that's when you're going to go ahead and reverse s3 or s4 if it's moving in the wrong direction in terms of the tx you're going to reverse that in the tx and that pretty much does it for the gyro setup too easy right now hopefully you all learned something from the video now this setup video for this gyro works on all the edfs in the 50 millimeter backpack line thank you very much for watching noon's out Awesome.